This, yeah. I mean, Sabrina, I'm looking at, uh, we just played Skin, uh, which had over 10 million streams in the first 48 hours, which is a big number. That's w right. What did it feel like to you when you saw that kind of reaction? Good? I guess you're, yeah. you're like, is it good? Or is it, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's uh, it's scary because it's, it's vulnerable and it's, you know, I think um, anytime you put out something, you always hope that people receive it well, but this was one of those times where I think I knew that I had no idea how people were going to receive it. Um, so just the fact that people were listening was like um, something that I'm very grateful for. Um, and, you know, the fact to see like how it's grown in just the last couple of days has been really crazy. I mean, you guys have known me for a minute. I, I feel um, like you've grown up yeah. with us. Yeah. I feel totally. like I've grown up with you too, <laughs> genuinely. And this was such a special moment in, in my life to be able to really speak on exactly where I was. So, you know, being vulnerable and singing from the heart doesn't always come without controversy. And even with this song, right, there are people, there are rumors that it is a response to a lyric in Olivia Rodrigo's song, Driver's License. Is that true? Is there any validity to that? I mean, it's also just not my place to say. I think I think a lot of people were sort of pointing fingers. Um, mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day, like I was dealing with what I was dealing with internally. Um, and the only way I ever know how to deal with things is to write about it. I mean, like I literally write about getting sued. So like, I don't know why right. it came such a shock to people, but it definitely, um, <laughs> it definitely was something that, you know, in, in this day and age and what everyone's going through in life right now, um, I've, I've dealt with this experience over and over and over again of, of people trying to get to me and me allowing myself to let them get to me. And that's um, getting under so, your skin. You're exactly. Yeah. So I mean, it's funny because a lot of people were like, well, isn't that defeat the purpose? And I was like, no, I mean, it genuinely like things do get under my skin, things have. And that was kind of, of why I felt the need to write the song. And hopefully, um, you know. When did you was, write the song, Skin? Uh, I happened to be in the studio a couple weeks ago. Like I, I really was just there that day in the moment. And I was like, everything is crazy surrounding me yeah. now. It feels chaotic. And yeah. I was like, all I can do is, all I can do is write. I couldn't, I couldn't force myself to write about something else. I couldn't force myself to write, you know, a song that, didn't make sense as it, it didn't like align with how I was feeling. Um, so yeah, I mean, then it just came like, do I, do I put it out? And it was um, something that I was like, I guess it's good if I'm a little bit nervous. I think that's, I was going to ask you, what was that decision process like? Because it is so vulnerable and so raw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd rather that than have something that I don't connect to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, um, I, you know, yeah. it's interesting, you know, when you talk to an artist, I mean, you you have an art form. You know, we talk about sometimes things that happen in our lives, and I we are often a little bit. What is it? Worried or just like it, it's nerve wracking because it's something that really happens that you're putting out yeah. there, and yeah. people might respond to it. Uh, you know, care. is it embarrassing? Is it is it not cool? Is it all of those things? So yeah. to put into a song like that, it's got to be at times terrifying. Yeah, I mean, and at the end of the day, it's like a song for me felt so much more um like more more powerful to help me heal and to help me yeah. move on. so at the time it's like yeah i mean you know not everyone's going to be pleased but the truth is is when i when i didn't say anything people were still mad and like, that's, all right. <laughs> that's true oh so, um uh, so you're not gonna please everybody why was it important for you to reference the blonde lyric in your song uh because I guess people care. And I was like curious as to why people cared. Um, but I also think, again, it's like people are pointing fingers, but at the same time, like, it's not for me to say, you know, uh, who, who is, or it isn't about, cause it's not, it's not my story. That's not my narrative. I'm just approaching it from, you know, again, the, the attention that people kind of directed towards me, assuming that, you know, it, it was me that I was just like, well, you know, it does, uh, it does make sense. I am blonde. 